Good day. This is the afternoon after the afternoon and evening before. So yesterday this was a absolute hubbub because it was our summer barbecue at the allotment and we had loads of people, tables, chairs, gazebos, food, barbecues as you can see over here. And uh, I came down hoping that it really would have been cleared up enormously well and it has been which is fantastic to see um, my job this is the job that I said I'd be happy to do is the cleaning of the barbecues let's see how they fared oh yeah that's good so that's all burnt out so I'll clean that up in a minute and this one so that was our veggie barbecue and this was the carnivorous one Oh yeah, fantastic. So all the utensils have been piled here and are ready for me to take home and put in our dishwasher. Um, so that's really great. These these grills here, that food goes on there. They're actually split in two. They'll go in our dishwasher as well, as will the one in the round one. And uh, that's fantastic. So all I've got to do is clear clear this out and then take those utensils home. Brilliant. And some of the flowers here that were decorating a bottle of sparkling water that will go to recycling. Some of the flowers that were decorating tables yesterday. I think that's somebody's dinosaur mug has been left, so we'll need to sort that out. And the telling one, our communal shed. How is this one? Oh, look at that. <laughs> All fabulous and tidy. Oh, Paul is a happy person today. Very, very happy. Excellent. Excellent. A real communal effort. As I say, I just popped down to sort out the barbecues. So I will be doing that very shortly. But whilst I'm down here, I've decided I'm going to prune these squash back so we've got a squash a new cheeky curry growing there and you can see that this vine continues to come off it and go over there and similar with this uchiki curry here the vine continues on and we saw last week that the fruits that were beyond there hadn't been pollinated and were dropping off and this one we can really see now look that's uh that's yeah not being pollinated so i'm going to prune this whole vine back to here and um i'll look i'll look that end as well because i did see what did i see over here in here I don't think this one no look that's rotten there can you see the browning can you see the browning around here that's gone as well so that's there's no point in energy going into this when it can go into that one there that's developing really well so I'm going to prune prune back as well and just allow all the energy to go into this uchiki curry here and I think I'll also look at these another day but I'm just going to do those main ones yeah I, I don't have very long down here today so as I was coming down I saw cardboard so I brought that down and a bit of barbecue tidying or cleaning and squash pruning. That's what I'm going to get on and do. Yeah, so this is, the growth comes up here, goes into this one. So I'm going to cut it back all that along, take all that off. So it's cut back just beyond and there's a bit of growth there, I'm just going to take that off. 
So all the energy will go into here now. And this here is rooted in, look, roots. So again, the energy from here will go into growing this one. Hopefully you can see that I've paired these quite, quite a way back. So I know we've got a clump of squash over here. We've got squash growing, two squash growing from here, this clump here, and then we've got one sort of there that is one that goes around and is is producing that one there so yeah this bed i would say give it another month and it will be ready for something else most probably i think broad beans i think broad beans yeah one other thing I want to show you before I go home for a phone call is in the poly. So let's just pop in there. You may remember the mizuna I sowed weeks and weeks ago, and I wasn't sure it was going to germinate because mizuna usually germinates really quickly. But actually, it has started germinating. There's another one over there. Not great germination so far, but... Clearly there is some viable seed in what I saved. But yeah, I think I'm going to do another sowing relatively shortly just to, to see if that seed can germinate quicker. Is it this compost? Is it the seed? Or is it just me? Who knows? So yes, just a quick visit today. Um, I just really wanted to check that everything had been put back because I was at the barbecue till about four o'clock and then um, I left because I had other things to do and other people stayed till six, seven, eight. Yeah, so it, uh, it went on. But it's lovely to see that people did clear up everything afterwards, which is great. And I've put, I've now cleaned the barbecues, which is super. The utensils and the racks are coming back with me in a black plastic bag. They'll be going into our dishwasher and will be coming back tomorrow. So they will all be clean and prepared for our next social, which will be, well, our next social will be our AGM in October, but that will be in our community hall. The next outdoor social with a barbecue will be our bonfire social in November. So there we are, a bit of pruning of squash and a bit of, a little bit of cheer with those Mizuna seeds. A little bit of cheer, a little bit of cheer, but definitely we need to sow some more. Right, after an itty bitty visit to the plot, I will say goodbye and see you again very soon. Bye. Good day. This is my afternoon so far. I finished a Roy Grace book I'd borrowed from the library, so took that back and checked it back in. And as I was there, I also took two other books that I'd taken from the sharing shelves a few weeks ago back because I'd read them. And I found these two on the sharing shelf, so I took them to read. Then I harvested the cucumbers at the back on the right and then our tomatoes have started ripening so here we've got Guernsey Island then we've got Roma here and these are Costaluto Fiorentino and as you can most probably hear we also have a lot of planes this afternoon
another quick visit to the plot today for harvesting mainly and a little bit of watering though we were fortunate yesterday in that we got a really good deluge of rain what was slightly unfortunate is it started two minutes after I left the house when I was bringing peelings down to put in our compost bin it went on for about 10 minutes by which time I was absolutely soaked and it finished two minutes before I got back home so actually if I'd waited like 10 minutes I, I could have I could have done it all dry but hey ho I got soaked never mind and today has been about harvesting so I've harvested those cucumbers which are really really ripe as you can see they will be going into our poly tunnel and just stay there for a good couple of weeks ripening up I want them to be as ripe as possible to be able to save seeds from them and I'll decide once I've opened them whether I'll save seeds from both or, or just one I do have a cucumber seed saving video so I'll link to it here I've also been harvesting tomatoes yay I mean you know what is it it's almost mid-September now it's the latest I've ever harvested bunches of tomatoes we've had the odd one or two but not bunches but yeah that that hot weather we had last week and the heat has really helped so those are mainly ripe though I noticed on some of the Costaluta Fiorentino there are bites so what I've decided to do is any that are bitten are obviously going in the compost and I'm taking the rest home because they will ripen on our windowsill they're now mainly at the stage where they will ripen on the windowsill where the ones that I harvested before when we had blight they hadn't fully developed and they weren't going to ripen properly so yeah green tomato curry for them so those have been harvested and I'm also going to be harvesting the Madeira maroon beans let me just pause for a moment last week I harvested the bird rock and core French yellow beans and I'm doing exactly the same this time with the Madeira maroon as I say we did have quite a deluge yesterday but we haven't had constant wet weather so the deluge we had yesterday will have mainly run off the dry pods of the Madeira maroon and then they will have dried out quite quickly because we're still sort of pretty warm so those pods won't have soaked up any moisture to have sort of soaked into the beans inside so I know that I can do that quite happily today if you get a bout of of wet weather like a week of wet weather what can happen when you want to when you're saving you're leaving beans on a plant because you're going to save them either for storage or for seed saving to use for another year if you have a bout of wet weather what can happen is the water can penetrate the dry pods of the bean and that means that the bean inside can start swelling potentially swelling and start sprouting so if you know you've got a bout of wet weather coming up and you are seed saving and you believe that your pods are dry then harvest them and save those seeds take them out of the pod and save them as we've done before if you're just going to get let's say a, a half a day of heavy rain don't worry too much because as soon as that rain is gone hopefully your weather will be dry enough that it will just dry the pods again so that's what I think happened yesterday even though we only had 10 minutes let's have a look at those pods because I'm sure they will be pretty dry and crisp these are our Madeira maroon and as you can most probably hear they're they're really really dry the pods are dry and that torrential rain we got yesterday for a short spell will have just run off these and not not soaked in and anything that was still any rain still on the surface will have just dried out afterwards so we've got quite a, a lot to to harvest as you can see um, you saw me harvesting our rock and core which was down there last week and I'm going to do exactly the same with these 
very happy to see this harvest of Madeira maroon pods. And of course they don't look maroon at all, do they? Because the maroon bit is actually inside. So these dry a really sort of pale, sort of creamy beige and are, are lovely. Up here are ones that I have taken out of the pods. You can see the pods here. Oh, and here you can see a bean that didn't develop properly. So that's obviously just been left. These are such a glorious colour. And once they're fully dry, they'll even be darker than this. So they're sort of red with peachy speckles on them and are just glorious. These ones here, which are slightly larger, are just beyond demi-sec on their way to drying. So what I'm going to do is once I've potted all of the beans, I will put them into a bowl and let them dry at home for another two weeks before they go into a glass jar, which gets put into the freezer for three to four days and then taken out and put into the fridge. But they really are such a fantastic bean, these like a borlotti, but I think much better than the borlotti and I hate to say it, but sort of quite meaty in texture. They they really do swell up when they cook. They get to about twice this size when they cook. Really, really good bean to have. So yes, just a quick visit. Though actually it is rather glorious now. The sun has just come out and it's so still down here. It really is. Um, I will miss it. I won't miss the plains. When we do eventually move, whenever that may be, I will miss this stillness in on the outskirts of London. You know, it can get quite noisy, but generally it's it's rather a lovely, quiet allotment. Certainly n not near a road, a, well, a busy road. So, you know, we don't have the whirring of cars as I hear on, on other people's uh, videos and, and plots sometimes. Anyway, look, I'm going to leave it here for this Monday, Wednesday segment of A Week at the Plot. And uh, I will be doing another segment or, or two later in the week. So I will see you then. And of course, it will be on Planet Vegetaria if you're on Planet Vegetaria. Or the two will be bundled together, or one if there's only one and put on to, to YouTube again next week. I think I might move the second, if there's a second part, I think I might upload it on a Thursday rather than a Wednesday, give an extra day's gap between. So yeah, I might do that. Oh, that sun is absolutely glorious. It really is. But look, whatever you're doing, whatever you're growing and wherever you are, I hope things are going well for you. If they're not and you're having a few things that are making you feel a little bit dispirited, then try and focus on those things that are giving you joy, giving you moments of joy and try and sort of just sort of accept that those things that are dispiriting you at the moment, maybe next year they will do better for you. So, yeah. Whatever you're doing, wherever you are, whatever your weather is, happy growing and see you again soon. Bye.